the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra camera is promising, but it can be inconsistent. If the first snap doesn't get things right, you might have to try again. All right, Rich, I think I just changed my mind again. <laughs> back and forth. He keeps saying he wants to get rid of his iPhone and then and then keep his iPhone. And go into this one, but now yeah. it's inconsistent. Some of it was cool. Some of it was fixing great. Fixing the uh, mistakes. Yeah. The blurriness, right? I don't know if I want to be fixing mistakes that the phone is not supposed to have to begin with. Mm. So. Well, you know, it all depends on who's behind the phone. For example, I take perfect photos. Oh, you do take editing. really good photos <laughs> with your phone. Yeah. No, but I get what you mean. You're it's an a iPhone photographer for sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Can we we got to take pictures of what? <laughs> yes. Catch some raindrops, some I lightning. Know. There was a great lightning show on the way to work this morning. Yeah, lots of lightning today. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be hard to get a good footage. You might have to use uh, one of the tools on your phone to, <laughs> to fix it because it's really foggy. All right, now fact, I want the Samsung. I know. <laughs> you see so if we could use that tool on our camera <laughs> right now, that would be really helpful because we have lots of fog out there. Guys, you can't even see. That is aimed towards the hotel on South Water Island that we can usually see in the morning, believe it or not. Uh, but you can't see it. There's so much fog out there. We do have a dense fog advisor for those coastal areas. 